emanating from their very first face off way back in 1988. The rivalry that changed the basketball landscape came to life and spawning across generations of basketball fanatics. It remains to be one of the fiercest in hardcore history. Hinebra vs. Pure Foods. Starting out as a glamour squad in the 1980s, they lived on to be one of the greatest, most popular team of all time. Effortlessly winning the hearts of millions of fans, today they remain to be the legendary titans that conquered the hard court. Ladies and gentlemen, make way for the Pure Foods team. The Raven, number one, Bong Ravenna. Mount Balingit, number three, Bonel Balingit. Kid Lightning, number four, Paul Artani. The Point Laureate, number five, Ronnie Mansano. Number 6, Tony Boy Espinosa. Number 8, Al Solis. Top Gun, number 9, Elmer Cabahuga. The Bullet, number 10, Dindo Pumare. <laughs> Mr. No Nonsense, number 12, Glenn Cabasho. The Predator, number 31, Roger Yup. Four-time MVP, the captain, number 16, Alvin Patrimonio. Number 19, Joey Santa Maria. The Twister, number 31, Peter Naron. The Defense Minister, number 44, Jerry Codillera.
Number 55, Richard Yi. Number 71, Totoy Marquez. Assistant coach, the catalyst, Ed Cordero. Coach is none other than four-time MVP, El Presidente Ramon Fernandez. Taking the world of basketball by storm, their greatness turned fans into fanatics. The unwavering winning spirit lives on as the Never Say Die team with unparalleled legacy in basketball history. They are back with a vengeance. Here is the all-time crowd favorite. The Hinebra team. The Flash, number one, Bal David. The Tech, number six. Nolly looks in. <laughs> Number eight, Bennett Pollard. Number nine, Leo Isaac. <laughs> Mr. Adrenaline, number 11, JV Gayoso. Number 12, Vince the Prince, he's on. <laughs> the Fast, number 13, JJ Hildebrand. The 
skyscraper, Marlu Aquino. Number 14, Joey Lloyd Saga. Number 16, Benny Chang. The Destroyer, number 17, Rudy Mistrito. Number 18, Wilmer Ong. The Fireman, number 25, Pito Harrencho. The Gentle Giant, number 32, E.J. Pyle. The Firecracker, number 33, Bobby Jose. We also have with us today, assistant coach. With assistant coach, the original Double King, the scorer, Philip Cesar. We also have assistant coach, Dudut Dworski. To be coached by the living legend, the Big J, Robert Jaworski.
There you have it. We are just about to blow the roof off of the Big Dome Smart Arena at the Coliseum. But before we head on over to the next segment, let's call in also the legends from both the Alaska team and San Miguel. Please join us here at the hard court once again. Can we ask all four teams to join us here at the center? Once again, may we call on all the legends from all the four teams to join us here at the hard court. All right, so all the legends come closer to the center court for our photo opportunity. At bago po tayo makarating dito sa ating once in a lifetime event, nagsimula po ang lahat ng tulungan ng UNTV sa pangunguna ni Mr. Public Service, Kuya Daniel Razon, si Samboy Lim sa Skywalker Exhibition Game noong 2015. And with that eye opener, ay nabuo ang PBA Legends Foundation upang makatulong sa iba pang mga former basketball players na nangangailangan. And on top of that, check this out, Rina and Ryan nagbigay pa ang UNTV na isa pang 1 million pesos para sa initial seed money ng PBA Legends Foundation. And to be able to sustain advocacy of the PBA Legends Foundation tonight, UNTV will again extend a helping hand para naman mas madami tayong matulungan sa nasabing foundation. And this evening, alam nyo ba kung magkano ang ating ipapamigay sa PBA Legends Foundation? How much is that, Rina? We will be giving away 3 million pesos para po wow. sa Legends Foundation. Again, that's a whopping 3 million pesos pledged to the PBA Legends Foundation. A round of applause for my basketball fans. We are in the presence of greatness as we have the PBA Commissioner, Mr. Willie Marshall, and of course, the fortune cookie himself, Commissioner Atoyko, along with Mr. Public Service, Kuya Daniel Razon. And Mr. Atoyko now is the chairman of PBA Legends Foundation. Muli po palakpakan natin ang lahat ng mga teams na ating hinangaan. May we also call in Ms. Irene Jose of Uniprom Incorporated for Smart Arena at the Coliseum, the venue partner of PBA Legends, Return of the Rivals. All right, so thank you so much to all the players who joined us, and of course, to Kuya Daniel Razon, Chairman Atoyko, and PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall. And now we are just about underway for Manila Classical! We bring you back to the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Night has fallen, of course. It's been a long day, but still not yet done. As we have our second game, it's going to be their fierce rival, Ginebra, against Pure Foods, their legends taking over. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Dr. J. Andy Howe. And uh, Dr. J, a festive moment as these two very popular teams get to play on the court again. Yes, and an uh, opportunity for us to get to know some of the old players that we admire in the past. Actually, I don't know if they can give us a 
kind of game that we saw in the first game between San Miguel and Alaska. And obviously a big comeback for San Miguel, courtesy of uh, Alan Kaidik and uh, Tani Dolfonso. You know, Olsen Rosella, they, those guys really played well. Nick Velasco, a lot of guys, uh, Don Don Ontiveros. But this one, we expect also a big battle here. We see some of the guys here relatively still young. Some of them may have just... Uh, you know, retired recently, like a Roger Yap, you know, he's still playing. We still see Marlo playing. Joey Luisaga just came back from uh, Australia. Australia, I think, yeah. a couple of weeks back because there was something to do. So it is, I talked to uh, Toto, and he said, I said, why are you not playing? And I was only told three weeks ago, and you know, I came from an ACL, and I, I, did, I didn't do any jogging, so I really didn't know if I would have enough wind to play, you know. But like Baldebid, you know, it's there. Definitely, that would be a big help. Benny Cheng looks like he's also ready to play. And Do Arrencio is always... Do Arrencio, no? Coach mm -hmm. Nayan, no, Dr. J. Yeah, coach. And, and the that too. very loud response when the Pure Foods players were introduced. Some of them are later generation Pure Foods. And ang original, of course, sila Alvin at sika si, uh, Jerry. si Jerry at si Glenn Capacio. Yeah. Dindo, umaran. Yeah, well, Dindo seems like he will always be ready to play. And so is Ronnie Maxano, because uh, he's an assistant coach, and I know he does a lot of running with the team also. So that should be an advantage for them. Bong Rabena is also a coach now, but he looks much bigger and heavier than he was before. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, uh, I think uh, we had covered him in the early uh, 90s, and well, he was Rookie of the Year also in yeah. that particular year that we first... He beat, uh, I think, Berhel Menezes, if I'm correct. not mistaken, who was the outstanding... Uh, picked to be the uh, rookie of the year, but uh, Rubena came up with glorious performance. Earlier, all the players got together, all four teams, uh, to receive the donation for the Players Foundation. UNTV chipping in a sizable amount, plus, uh, plus this event, of course, of course, 3 million pesos. Amarami ho kasing mga players, from especially the first generation who may not have been able to save enough. Yung iba may sakit. So, gusto tulungan niyan ng asosasyon ng mga dating professional players. And that's a very good cost. Well, I'll tell you something. I know players of the late, you know, as, er, as late as the 2000s already. And they obviously need some help also. And that certainly could go a long way. Maybe in uh, also helping the education of their children. True, true. Yeah. Alam mo, Dr. J knows this very well, being, having been in the league all these years uh, as manager, assistant coach, uh, uh, as broadcaster. Announcer. <laughs> announcer as well. And my partner for uh, close to 20 seasons. And we know these players well. Lumaki ng konti ba? Al Solis looks like have a little brow uh, across his face when he was so youthful when he was starting. But all of us have aged, but I think the spirit will definitely be there, Dr. Jack. Yeah, you know, it's a pity that guy like Rhea Bangilista, who I met, he said, I'm injured, eh, sayang. I, I really wanted to play. Or an Al Soli, uh, or a Kaboy Kabaho, you know. So obviously, we'll miss some of these gunners. Minebra's uh, strategy now is to try to put EJ File and Marlock in at the same time. Bahala na sila. That's a great strategy. And we're just about ready to present. And I think for tonight's second game, we're going to have Vincent Price, our longtime Barker or Coliseum announcer in the games uh, during the 90s, all set to make the formal introductions of the starting lineup. And let's see if we can get him going. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Our second game tonight between the Pure Foods, TJ Hot Dogs, and Hinebra is being presented to you by UNTV and the PBA for the benefit of the PBA Legends Foundation Incorporated. This is the return of the rivals! And now, let's meet the starting lineups. For the Pure Fruits TJ Hot Dog, starting at guard, number 10, Dindo Pumare. At guard, number 8, Al Solis. 
At center, number 44, Jerry Cordinera. At forward, number 31, Peter Naron. At forward, number 16, Alvin, the captain, Patrimonio. The head coach for Pure Foods is Ramon Fernandez. Assistant coach is Ed Cordero. And now, the starting lineup for Ginebra. At guard, number 25, Fido Harancho. At guard, number 13, J.J. Heltebrand. At center, number 13, Marlu Aquino. At forward, number 12, Vince Pizar. And at forward, number six, Noli Luxin. And head coach for Hinebra is Coach Sonny Jaworski. Assistant coaches are Philip Cesar and Dodo Jaworski. And now we would like to call on the following for our ceremonial toss. Coach Ato Iko of the PBA Legends Foundation, PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall, and Kuya Daniel Razon. We'd also like to call on the head coaches for Pure Foods, Ramon Fernandez, and for Ginebra, Coach Sonny Jaworski, and Mr. Rene Pardo. Okay, we have the uh, ceremonial toss we have with the Sterling personalities. Yeah, we have, we have Mon Fernandez and Sonny Jaworski in, in, the, uh, in attendance here tonight. Yeah, obviously as the coaches of uh, respective teams, uh, I remember the old days, if you look at Pure Foods, there's a Sterling uh, starting five. Although Peter Naron was not, he's grown here. Peter Naron, left-hander, if you remember him, very quick. But he's really grown big now. Ang liit-liit niya na rin. Manipis yan eh. Pero mabilis, good shooter, medium range shooter, can penetrate. Your officials for this game are Noel. Nice to see Mr. Pardo. Still with the, well that Pure Foods franchise is still with them right now. With the Magnolia team, no? What time is it? It's showtime! It's game time. We're going to put the ball into the air. Si Marlo naglalaro pa nga hanggang ngayon yan. Napapanood yan. So there he is. Good shape. Pero nakuha ka agad ng bola ng Pure Foods dito. Okay. Puntahan natin yung magkapatid. Nagpapanggap ng magkapatid si Ryan at si Ronnie Magsano. Maraming maraming salamat, Sam. Kasama natin, of course, the point lawyer himself, Coach Ronnie Magsano. Coach Ronnie, finally, natupad na po, nangyari na po ang reunion po ninyo, ang inyong arch rival, ang Hinebra. Ano po ang masasabi nyo ngayon na nakita-kita muli kayo dito sa Araneta Coliseum? Isang masayang patakataon dahil para sa isang common goal at common goals. Tapos, mga dating naglaro sa PBA mula sa Pure Foods, San Miguel, Alaska, at Hinebra. Kami nagpapasalamat kay Kuya Daniel Razon and of course kay Commissioner Willie Marshall at sa mga pioneer superstars sa sila, Coach Ramon Fernandez at Coach Sani Jaworski who came out today to support this uh, endeavor dahil kung wala yung mga pangalan binanggit natin ay hindi matutuloy ito. Pero lahat ito of course uh, pinagsama-samahan namin pagtulungan para matuloy para masayahan din ang mga, mga basketball fans. Coach, gano'n nyo po pinagandaan itong game na ito against Ginebra? Uh, Maraming dasal at saka uh, maayos sa pag-uusap. We, we're looking to have fun and at the same time, a little competition. So, marami naman kami. So, mahaba yung oras, marami kami. Bahala na si Guard. <laughs> your message to your diehard fans, of course, on Pure Foods. Um, to all the Pure Foods fans who are watching, marami salamat sa many years of support. Continue to support not just the Pure Foods team or yung Magnoli Hotshots, but all the teams that are playing right now and all the other PBA teams. Basta kami, hanggat kailangan nyo kami na makapagbigay sa iya, nandito kami para pagsama-sama. Kaya Daniel, maraming salamat. Commission na Yuli Marshall, maraming salamat. At Coach Sani at Coach Samuel Fernandez, maraming salamat sa inyo. Coach Ronnie, good luck po si Kay, maraming salamat. Coach Ronnie Magsano, back to you, sir. Napakasayang na interview nun. Ewan ko ba kung bakit ini-interview pa yan si Magsano. 
Magpapanggap na magkapatid yan dalawang yun eh. Ito, dalawang error na si Nolly Luxin. Napitawan yung bola, nag-traveling dito sa kapila. Wala pa tayong score, mga kababayan. But some good shots already for Pure Foods. Misses by Naron and Alvin. But they were good shots. Again, Alvin open. Just hasn't found the range. No? Nice to see Helter Brandt playing. Uh, that guy should be in shape. Eh? Pido! Pido steps into it. Nice ball play! Ikakaritaan lang yan eh. So, bata pa rin yan. So, obviously, I think he's gonna play a lot of minutes for him ever in this ball game. Willie Marshall is over there on that side. Malamang yung pure foods. Malamang sa persa. Okay. Rina, go! We'll talk to one of the pioneers here of the Hinebra team, Joey Loisaga. Of course, sir, Joey, how do you feel seeing all the crowds here at the Big Dome? Well, first thing, I felt so excited and I had goosebumps. You know, hearing the crowd again, very much active, and hearing the chant, Hinebra, Hinebra, wow, it brings back memories. What about your, what about your first reaction, seeing your teammates again for the first time? Um, so surprised and so glad to see them back all over again. Um, though I feel so much older than them, but feeling is good. And a message that you wanted uh, to bring to the PBA Legends Foundation? Well, uh, it's a good project and I very much support it. And I hope they would continue this uh, project for the um, players that uh, are uh, injured or are, are sick or have passed away. I hope that uh, they continue doing this because it's an important thing for last players. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Joey Loesaga, and good luck to the Hinebra team. And of course, Front Row International, together with the Philippine Basketball Association, bring you the glorious return of the Philippine basketball all-time great and a clash that no one will ever forget. The PBA Legends Return of the Five Rivals, brought to you by Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Seven, Dr. J. Thank you very much, Rina. Great pass by JJ Helderbrand over to Marlo. Nolly looks in. <laughs> Making fun of himself, but he's just so happy to be able to play again. Early six to nothing lead para sa Inebra. Four points created by Helderbrand. No? Yes. Because Helderbrand is running all over the place. He's really in good shape. He talked to me earlier when we, there was a halftime activity. Mm. I'm a rookie all over again, he said. Yeah. Mm. Those guys are old compared to <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the man. Pido Arantxa those great battles with Alan K. Dick in the uh, UEUSD days. We remember that. Vince Season tries to get it to Marlowe, unable to do so. Here's the lead pass. Here comes Al Solis. He can shoot from the outside. The drive. First basket of the Naroni is still in good shape. He can still oh, no. And his, his shots are okay. Hindi lang pumapasok. Actually, same first few attempts from Big Woods. Yeah, yeah two attempts already in this ball game. Glad you're with us with Dr. Jason Samantha here and our entire team of uh, sports reporters from UNTV. Good pass inside, but too far ahead, picked up by Patrimonio. We haven't said those names in ages, Dr. J. You know what names they are. Patrinera blocked by Marlon. <laughs> Jerry getting a dose of his own medicine. <laughs> 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 Al Solis is first person on the first team uh, for your goodness. 6-2 on score that and this crowd just enjoying seeing them all together again. Huh? Vince Heeson starting and um, we have a loud cheering section for Vince Heeson behind us here. I love when Vince is always in good shape. Oh, no, no. Well, once this guy gets going, you know, Helterbrand I think is going to make a lot of points in this game. See Vince naglalaro, naggo golf pa yan. A uh, lot of uh, activities. In the meantime, that another rebound. That should be three rebounds already. Five, sorry. Marlo peeks inside. Vince Heeson is open. He'll take it. Uh, oh, nice. But the ni Marlo cross court. Being the big fellow, he can always see his teammates. Sila yung nagpangabot eh. No? It's a nice pass. Yes! And the match is for Edward Patrimonio. Take a look at this shot. May up that here right Dindo reach it, right? Nice bounce pass. There is the foul, and look at it flow. <laughs> Dr. J. 
I had a unique opportunity to play a pickup game with these guys, uh, with Ronnie Maxanok. Alvin told me, Seb, bigyan mo ako ng pick. Okay, Cap. Alam mo kung sino pinikos si Alvin Teng. Punti ka kong mamatay. <laughs> And Balta did seeing action oh. for the first time. He should also be in good shape. Guy always lean, maganda katawan. Had that spectacular shot from, from out of nowhere in 1997, I believe. The dribble of Gizan broken up. Well, Naron is much taller than Vince, no? and he's got longer arms. We're going to see Artadi, another guy. That's also made in the frame of uh, what you would say. You should call Artadi for uh, Balta Bid. No? Artadi, who Very came out of the UE program. In the meantime, Luxin now replaced by Benny Chang. I think Benny should be okay yet. I saw him about a year ago. He's gone into good business. Oh, Elter Brand! Elter Brand! I don't know how to Benny Chang. I don't know. Ginebra in the lead by five. Helter Brand trying to get it to Heeson. Stole it. Here's Naron. Naron leading the three on two. Penetration. Artadi can't make it. David claims the rebound. Helter Brand, stutter step. Goes straight. Misses the shot. Taps it back. Barlow foul from behind. Alamo, Helter Brand wanted to pass to Heeson. At the last minute, he decided to go for a layup. It was not a layup that he Second wanted to take in the first place. Two free throws for one. Ito na, iigot niya yung bola. Sigurado yan. I saw him the other day, yung free throw shots niya still was bad. This one, he makes it <laughs> nice and clean. But that's why I say, I, I, I still see him playing. So obviously, he, he can still play good minutes. Oh, walang makaako sa kanya doon sa liga nila eh. Paghawak niya ng mataas ng, uh, ng bola. Uh-oh. Agawan, ng mga dalawang mabilis. JD Pioso for JJ Helterbrand. Helterbrand will move back. You've got JB Gayoso seeing action for the first time. Sunny is going to try to give all of his players opportunities. Four, eight, seven, 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 seven. And then he's going to make sure JJ should be there in the fourth quarter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Young for Peter. Yeah, no, they had Denok Miranda, a couple of young legs for San Miguel, which won. Yeah. Earlier today, on Tibero, oh, si Tito, and then this is Roger. Yep, me John, uh -huh. laro laro pa rin ito. And then we see Bong Rabena coming in for Peter Naron. Almo in the same mold, yan ng bata sila, no? In Rabena at sakin Naron. Yeah. He's on. Ah, yeah. Getting open looks here. Here and comes Tadi. Pushes hard. The pass to Yap. The pass to the side. That won't work, however. Here's JB. Nice way. Overshooting. Obviously, oh, not having played for a long time. Artadi. Yes. Pero maganda niya. Tom Artadi. Philip Cesar is serving as assistant to Sonny Jaworski. Asking for a timeout. He never will use it there ahead. 10 6, 5.38 to go. I can't be in the back, I can't be in the middle. I have to be in the front row. Front row, I love you. Only at front row.
PBA Legends Return of the Rivals in partnership with UNCV in cooperation with the PBA. This event is co-presented by Front Row International, the health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Stepping out of that timeout, Gayoso missing from the outside. The ball will go to Emerald. You can see how fast Roger Yap was in pushing up the ball together with Atadi. The backcourt can run for them, not for, yes. the, for the pure food sub dogs. Another steal, an outer steal. Here's Gayoso, another try from the outside. Still won't make it. Rebound fought for. The front line of Pure Foods is a front line of veterans with Patrimonio Rovena as well as Codinera. That won't work. Here's the kick out. Artadi to Ravenna. Back to Artadi. Thinking about it. 16 footer. He's got four points in the ball game right now. Artadi. Kung si Hal Neto, tama yung basa ni David. Hindi mo titira ng three points yan. Lalapit niya. Hindi na siya nakarecover. Pure Foods within two. While the bid scoots inside, uses the glass, and is pushed by Benny Chang. Pero huli ka. Don't forget, Front Row International, together with the Philippine Basketball Association, bringing you this glorious return of the PBA's all-time greats. The PBA Legends Return of the Rivals, brought to you by Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Well, bumabalik na dito ang Pure Foods using the younger players. Last touch on bid season, and Leo is out. Coming in for the season. He's on. Quite heavy now, his body. But what a player from his early PABL days, moving on to the pros. Matalino maglaro si Leo. He's a big six one, six two, that can play point guard. Very few. Sorry, very few players. The kaya si Mabay kay Samboy Lim na lumilipad. Offensive foul. Off against Bong Rabena. Bong Rabena, his first first goal. Children, his children's thirty. Keeper and daddy, the volleyball player, must be thrilled watching their dad play. Ito mga hindi rin tumatanda ito si Joey Santa Maria. Oh, coming in to replace Jerry Cotinera. He told me that he's fifty-two na raw. Yeah, played for La Salle, you know. Yeah, a very underrated player. So kasi Joey commercial model na rin yan, dami commercial yan. Yeah, nice deal. Here's Artadi. Nice dish to the trailer. Behind the back. Overshot, however. Rebound. Down count with a foul. Mabigat na backcourt yan. Artadi at saka si Roger. Because they both look in good shape. And look like they can run for minutes. So that's a big advantage. I guess what you would say, not so conditioned Hinebra team. Except siguro for J.J. Halter. But... Siguro yun ang sikreto pag bumubuo ka, ka ng Legends team. No? Ilan ang bata, ilan ang rebounder, ilan ang shooter. Oh, so Miguel really put in... Well, I thought Alaska... But Alaska actually, I thought that Don Don would play for them. Because uh, those uh, were most uh, of his years also in uh, the uh, end. But he played on the other side, so that they missed that. Here's Isaac. Step back by Cheng. As two former Mapua Cardinals are on the floor, there is Ock and Chang. Artadi, bothered by Gayosa, no whistle. Nakita mo si Artadi, just pushing and pushing up the ball, using his speed. Balingit is in for Patrimonio. Two Giants coming into the ball game, EJ File and Bonel Balingit. Remember yung PBL natin dati, yung Magnolia team si Balingit? Oh, sir, lalabas lang po ako. Bait, bait talagang. Galing kumanta niyan. Balingin it with the shield. Yap. No. First quarter down to three minutes and six. Big smile on the face of Bal David. Bal looking inside. Here's EJ Pal. Yes! May kamay talaga yan. As turbid kanina, siya nanalo, hindi ba? Doon sa skills. 
Players are telling me that his favorite expression is wow. Takay na, EJ. Wow. That will not work. EJ file unchallenged. Sabi ng uh, Hinebra, ang scouting daw nila kay Bonel. Hindi lang makatalo si Bonel. Kaya nga, damang na doon si Pato at si EJ. <laughs> Unang-una, mas malaki talaga yung dalawang yun. <laughs> His file. Nice pass. They also can't sink it from the outside. He seems to be in shape. Hindi lang siya makatama. Eh. Uh -huh. Open, Ravenna. Oh, malakas lang. Oh, you know. <laughs> Hindi naman ka talagang si Bonel eh. Agaw lang ng taas ng taas ng kamay si EJ. But he's got to give Jen. Oh, inabot ng 8 second violation. Sabi ko na nga ba, i-increase ang kusana sa 15 seconds yan eh. In the meantime, hot dogs use a timeout. Ginebra by one. That will work. That will be a Santa Maria getting a bucket of a pass. Good assist by Roger Yap. Ang ganda ng court sense yun si Roger Yap. Joey Loisaga, by the way, came into the ball game to replace Gayoso. Oh, good block by Roger Yap. Here's Palingit, baseball pass, Artadi with the legs to recover. Inside we go, Santa Maria is fouled. Well, actually, you would say you don't want to give him a layup. Pero yun, inaabangan na ni EJ Fahil yung bablang kaya niya sa area. Joey, Santa Maria. Santa Maria looks in shape, huh? Well, his body hasn't changed. Oh, okay. no. He's exactly the same as when he left the game. And we see Ronnie Magsano coming into the ball game. Penalitan si Roger Yap. Ramon Fernandez and Ed Cordero are coaching the Pure Foods team. Sonny Jaworski together with Philip Cesar and Dudot are the coaches on the other end. Nakakatatlong defensive rebound ito si EJ Fine. Ito si Magsano ko si Isaac. Naging magkakarpi rin sa shell yan. That shot does not work. Magsano over to Artadi. Artadi banging bodies with David. The short pass. Santa Maria. Magsano will try to assemble a play here. Magsano hop, step. The pass. The shot. Where is he coming from? Open shot coming up. Malakas. Maganda parati ang position ni AJ Fahil kay Balingit. 59 seconds remaining. 13 to 12 is a count in favor of uh, Pure Foods. Joey open. Oh! EJ Prime! With a pass! Maxano tries to reach it. Maxano looking for a recipient. Artadi launches. Yes! Three point shot. Kitang-kitamo, he and Roger Yap are the guys in shape on the other end. Final play, probably. May fouls to give naman dito ang Pure Foods if they want to use it. Oh, wow! Shades of old. Malasa. Magsano. To the corner. Another thing around the block, not this time. And two seconds. Dami pang oras. Uli. Tuli, pwede pa niya i-tripo yun. Maka gusto niya ulitin yung ginawa niya ng 1997. Magbabalik ko ang inyong return of the rivals after these messages. Ito na yung ating uh, rivals nagpapatuloy sa ating laro. Hardly any changes. Bobby Yosedo is in the lineup for the first time. Si Bob 
Miguel. Yeah, you started with San Miguel. Yeah, you started with San Miguel. That's what I was thinking. Again, Artadi just too quick for everybody. Just leaking out. Artadi! And I don't blame Sonny Jaworski if you'll keep him there for a long time, you know. Nine, nine points na dito si Artadi, including a three-point shot. And that's a three-point lead for Pure Foods. EJ File. Not this time. Rebound. Oh. Crafty move. Bobby Jose loves that interior. Round number 19, Joey Santa Maria. Santa Maria with the foul. Bobby Jose has a daughter, Sidanica, who played for the Ateneo Lady Eagles and the basketball uh, wards of the UAAP. She's tall, but 6 1. Six yes, two. indeed. And there's uh, Coach Sonny Jaworski. Bobby Joe, as our dear friend Romy Quintanar used to call him. Yeah. The firecracker. Yeah. Ravenna. Ryan, go. Seth, kasama na ngayon ngayon ang defense minister himself, Coach Jerry Codinera. Coach, how happy are you right now? You're playing along with your best friend, na si Coach Alvin Patrimonio. Well, uh, Ryan, masayang masaya kasi uh, pag, hindi pang karaniwan yung ganitong magka, magkasama kami tapos against Hinebra pa. So, it's an honor at saka nakakatuwa kasi maraming natulungan itong tulong ni Kuya Daniel dito sa mga kapos, uh, hindi namin pinalad na mga kasama, malalaro. Coach Jerry, nagbabalik tanaw muli kayo ngayon dahil sa tindi ng acceptance po ng mga fans ninyo, yung mga Pure Foods fans ninyo, mga PBA fans ninyo. Ano po yung nararamdaman nyo ngayon na natupad muli itong pangarap ninyo? Well, uh, syempre, uh, nag-enjoy na lang kami yung mindset namin coming to this game. Uh, walang uh, disgrasya, tapos walang wag lang madulas. <laughs> syempre, tagal din talaga yung maraming nanggaling sa amin sa Cebu, like sila ano, Al Solis, Peter Naron. So, Enjoy lang, tapos we'll try to uh, we'll, we'll play our best. Again, your message to your diehard Pure Food fans. Maraming uh, maraming salamat, lalong-lalo na sa UNTV fans na talagang halos uh, sumuporta dito, at saka PBA fans, Pure Foods fans. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Uh, I do hope marami pang mga gantong projects na gagawin. Coach Jerry, maraming maraming salamat. Good luck sa game. Thank you, thank you so much. Coach Jericho Dinero, of course, I'm sure it's back to you, Sam. Oh, puro tating taga UNTV mga ini-interview nyo, no, ha? Jericho Dinero, of course, helping us cover some of the games before. In the meantime, Tony Boy Espinosa is in the game. Magsanok and Espinosa are there. Here's a pass. They're trying to get Ravenna going, really. The scoop. Layup. No. Bong. Thumbs it over to Balingit. No. This is a defensive rebound to si EJ Fine. Nakakarami nga ito kadi defensive rebound. Lima. Saka nakakaakit baba ng court, ha? Oo. Oh. Ito, naglalaro rin siya pila ang ito. Nakikita. Ganun ba? Ganun ba? <laughs> Nagtuturo pa. Oh, Bobby Jose trying to shoot a three-point shot air ball. By the way, Bennett Pala, he's also a good shooter. Oh. Given that opportunity. Former USD uh, glowing gold in Panila. Noong time na yun. Or Tiger na. In the meantime, Pala. And Loisaga working in the back. Rina, go! Tab, I'm now with JJ Helterbrand of the Hinebra team. Of course, we want to know he's the youngest player for the team. How does it feel working with the veterans? Oh, uh, it's a great honor just to even be part of this. Uh, it's kind of weird because uh, I retired and now I'm a rookie again. So, uh, But it's just been fun. I've learned a lot so far from these guys. And uh, just to hear their stories and uh, the camaraderie, just to see that, it's, uh, it's just fun to be around. With your 17 years with the Hinebra team, what do you miss most playing with play? With your 17 years with the Hinebra King, what do you miss most in playing? Uh, I think uh, I miss the fans and also, like I said, the camaraderie with the guys. You know, especially Mark. Mark, uh, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Speaking of the fans, what's your message right now for your fans watching for you? Right? <laughs> to the fans, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for your support. Uh, even till now, you, you guys are still here. Uh, packed house here at Araneta. And, um, it's all, it's all for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, thank you guys for supporting Hinebra and the PBA. Thank you so much, JJ. And of course, from the International Together, the Philippine Basketball Association brings you the glorious return of the Philippine basketball's all-time greats and a clash that no one will ever forget. The PBA Legends return of the finals brought to you by Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Sav and Dr. J. Thank you very much, Rina. We're getting better shooting. 
and then an exchange of shots here no, by both teams. Bagabit beginning to warm up a little bit. And the big guys are the ones doing yeah. it. Huh? Bonil finally getting his first two points and EJ File continues to be a big force. Santa Maria not this time. 23 all. This is deadlock number three. Here's Bobby Joe deep under. Could be a Santa Maria foul here. You can see the quickness of the big realizing his teammate has stripped into the front court. Bigay ka agad ang pasa. Hindi inahawakan yung bola. Rudy Distrito and Ben Season are coming back to the ball game. See Ben, see Rudy seeing action for the first time. Remember that shell game you and I did in 1991? Game 7. Oh. And I can't forget that you reminded me after this Distrito made that shot that there was one second to go that Shell still had to play actually. It's on the right side of the court. It's on ultra, no? Yeah, right side of the court. Parang nakataas pa yung kanyang tuho to make that shot. Difficult shot, really. And if you YouTube that, you'll see that the camera shakes it with the audience uh, rattling the uh, the entire venue there. Si Richard G seeing action for the first yes. time. Sino itong kasama niya? Here's he, Espinosa, Magsano, Santa Maria. Is this Glenn Capasso already? Yeah, oh, that's Glenn. Where he's losing a lot of hair no? <laughs> in, the, in the front. I saw him earlier nga pala. You know, Glenn continues to be a coach. Salasal yata no? Yeah. Well, he, before he had a lot. He was, remember, oh, he, he was even a head coach. No? FEU. Yeah. And he was also assistant coach at Letran. Bennett! That's a nice move, hindi lang natapos. Distrito trying to pursue Spinoza. The Batras. He made the shot, but he wasn't going to go for a layup because he saw Distrito down there. Nagdalawang isip, Dr. J. No, no, I ain't going straight to the basket. No, no, no. <laughs> the uh, proud son of Negros Occidental, Tony Boy Spinoza. Galing na guardian, you know. Played for the, the Green Archers also. That's a great combination with Moxano, huh? I think with their coaching staff right now in Blue See si Tony Boy. Yeah, Puro sila sa Lasal doon eh. Si Mon Jose, Jason. Si Jason. Um, and of course, and they are all under Chito Victor of course. In the meantime, hook shot. No. Pesta. Si EJ Pai. Ilan na yan? Siyam? Anim, anim. No, I think he's more than that. I think mali ka niya. Binibila ko mara marami na dyan. More than that. Inside the five. Oh, that would have been a nice finger roll. Then he's going to go to the free throw line. Five minutes and 49 seconds. Wow, the a second quarter. We have here with the foul. We have a timeout by Hinebra. with the Garicus Mushroom and Korean Ginseng. Drink healthy, live healthy with Jim's 5-in-1 Coffee Mix. Awarded by the World Class Philippine Council as World Class Philippine Premium Antioxidant Coffee Brand. Distributed by Goldshine Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Legends return off the rivals in partnership with UNCV 
in cooperation with the PBA. This event is co-presented by Front Row International, the health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Welcome back to the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Fernandez and Cordero coaching hard for Pure Foods there. Huh? Obviously, they want to win. It's also pride here. Oh, no, 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 no. But EJ, pride, uh, EJ File has really been playing well. Rebounding wise, five points in the ball game. Medyo malakas lang itong pangalawang free throw. Medyo nagsisi siya. And Wilmer Ong seeing action for the first time for Ginebra. And Totoy Marquez naman sa kabila. Thank you. You were uh, all right in calling on Totoy Marquez. Also played for Shell. Brother of Joey. Wow, oh, good corner shot. Espinosa with a delivery. Well, he hesitated a lot. When EJ File is guarding him at the corner, he should take the shot because they have a chance at the offensive rebound. But they don't want to Uh oh, tiptoe. <laughs> they don't si Jerry. Masyadong malaki talaga si EJ. And he's the guy that looks to be in shape for a big player. You know, Jerry's conditioning is not that good compared to EJ Five. Parang lagi naglalaro si EJ. Eh. Yeah. No? Ang pakabait na tao din yun. Lakin tao pero gentle giant. Eh. Well, the same as Bonnell. Oh. Oh, he missed both. The guy with good shot missed three free throws here. Those are big. You know, those are PBL mo dati. The Bonnell and I would do the Derek Pumarin timeout. Ang tawa ko ng tao. He did it better than I did. That won't work. Bennett Pollard with the rebound. Eason back in the game. Oh, Eason nice against Apasio. Other than the snap, but follow up. No. Pollard with the foul. Present day slaughter and uh, Aguilar. Aguilar. <laughs> but of course, Aguilar is the more athletic, uh, the most athletic of them all. No? I mean, Alala ko nung pag may Glenn Capasio, binabanggit mo sa akin sa coverage. Ay, naku si Glenn, may isang game. Sasaktan ka niyan, di ba? Pumutok sa isang laro yan eh. Well, he's known as a defensive player, but he also has a lot of uh, ability to score. Like that. Saying, you're saying? That won't work. No, that will work. Bennett Pollard getting uh, a basket in. Magaling pag umamit ng katawa. Bagsak yung dalawang blue shirts. Sa palo up. Bawal sa Hinebra, hindi marunong umamit ng katawa. Espinosa down the middle, Looper, no. And there's Wilmer on to help out the big fellow because he does that job well. Rebound, uh, well. Nah? box out well and deep in. He'll just do his job. Eh. I love this guy. Uh, oh, I had oh. the chance to know him personally. He and oh, really? Benny Cheng, I really love them as players. Marlo, oi, Patras ka ng Patras. Tinapig niya, wala nang tao doon. Tumakbo na sa depensa. J.J. Helderbrand for Bennett Pollard. Bennett Pollard sits down. J.J. Helderbrand is back in. Big scorer for them in the first half. Together with Baldabi, they're a potent force in the backcourt. Just like uh, Artadi and Roger Yap on the other end. He's shopping around. There's a whistle. Neukel again is our lead referee. <laughs> round number 17, Rudy Distrito. Distrito in the foul. Present generation being introduced to Rudy Distrito. Yeah, you gotta know Rudy Distrito. Dalawang, dalawang ilong ko to eh. Dalawang bisaya ito eh. Kinahing, buk buk. That was shot by uh, Richard Yee. Richard Yee! Alder Brown quickly across the right side. Three minutes to go. Second period. On the street of Hunter Brand. Three! Yeah, 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 yeah. Three! Yeah. 
The Strita trying to look for Espinosa. Tries to counter. No. Here's Helterbrand. Rushing. There's a foul given up by Espinosa. Timeout, Pure Foods. And we have a timeout by Pure Foods. Maligo tayo rito, 2 minutes and 35 seconds left in the second quarter. Earlier today, if we just missed it, we had a win by the San Miguel Legends, 96 to 83. But the score does not tell you the entire story. Huh? Yeah, the fight really was in the fourth quarter. But you know, uh, for a while, Alaska seemed like they were in very good control. Marlo. Pika <laughs> Here comes uh, Roger Yap, slowing it down. Long cross court. Toto Marquez thinking about it. Yes! Good decision on that long cross court pass. And this uh, six point lead now being enjoyed here by Pure Foods with two minutes left in this second quarter. sabi nga sa Pampanga. He's on. Will he make it? Yes! Sinagutan niya kaagad. Sinagutan niya. Hindi kanina, when he threw, he was fouled. Hindi tinawag. Eh, sabi niya, I'll just take it from outside. Yo, yung cheering section niya dito sa likod. Nagdiriwang, Dr. J. 35, 32. Here is Capacho against Season. Capacho over now to Yi, who still seems to be moving well. Yes! Four points in the ballgame. Maganda yung kilos niya, and we have Helter Brand pushing, but nobody running with him. It seems to be the case tonight. You know? Distrito. Helter Brand trying to make a decision. Drags Yi with him. Get just too good. <laughs> when he turned that corner, it was all over. Dr. J. He's waiting for Mark Aguiwa to join them here. Hey, hey, I'll speak for Mark. And okay. Tell JJ, you wait a couple more years. <laughs> Don't be rushing me here, man. <laughs> Mark, Mark enjoys playing. Uh, injured lang ngayon, hindi nagagamit. I don't know what he would do if he wasn't playing. Oh, no, man, no, no, man. Uh, He can go to business. Of you course, know. he has the money and everything, but, you know, that's yeah. the love of the game. Man. Yes, indeed. He's on picking it up. He's on the even. Binigay kay Helderbrand. Helderbrand fouled by Marquez. You know, when we were in Digos for the game last Down weekend, people were chanting the name of Mark Aguil as we take a look at the father and son combine there. Penalty situation. And on the other side, these are the two best friends they, when they were in Toyota. Uh, before I got them actually uh, in 84. Talaga nga medyo magkalapit yan. Magkaiba ng edad dyan, ha? Yeah, of course. Uh, Ed is much uh, younger. And Ed was all, always looked up to Ramon as like a big, big brother. True, true. You should hear Ed Cordero's stories from those days. I'll tell the same story. Oh, of course. When I was there. <laughs> Anto, he has some nice stories about Jaworski on the court, in this court uh, as well. That's going to be two free throws because Bins came in at the, raw, at the late time. Now Even though they were not in penalties, I am. They could have given the foul earlier. We're down to the last 48 seconds. First free throw will not work for Roger Yap. Alan Kaidik, our best player of the game. Having uh, for the San Miguel Alaska fight. Tama ka eh. Biglang kumunik eh. I, I saw that gay uh, movie already eh. <laughs> Inuulit lang yan eh. I saw that ano movie already. Pinento ko na lang sa HBO. Every four hours sa HBO ba yan? Pinento ko na lang ulit sa HBO. <laughs> Napanood ko na yan. Offensive foul number 13, Arnold Aquino. Kaya siya nakakamiss sa international <laughs> competition. Ano? Nakakamiss talaga siya. Good cut. However, interrupted. Nice spin, but it's an air ball. Marlu picks it up, gives it to Helderman. 25 seconds. Last shot time, actually, with a chance to tie or even take the lead. And JJ knows it. At penalty ngayon ang pure foot, so they have no foul to give. 
You see Wilmer, I'm not asking for the pick yet. There's the pass. Pardon. Oh, yes. That's a count. Right. Game is an over. JJ celebrating, but there's plenty of time left. Uh, they have the second. foul to give. Actually, they have fouls to give. And uh, Ginevra has two fouls to give back to. Tabla tayo. Tinulak na lang yung minutes. But it's a slight match. Slight match. Foul to give. Foul to give. Okay, we'll be right back as this return of the rivals, the Giants, the big names, and the stars of Philippine basketball from one time to the other come back and return. Basketball fans, welcome to the halftime show of the PBA Legends Return of the Rivals. Now, before we proceed to our next segment, I want to check how alive this party is. First up, to the fans of Pure Foods, make some noise! All right, let's check if the button guy is way more louder than the Pure Foods fans. So, he never fans, make some noise! There you go, so right about now, we are to meet the second generation ballers, AKA the future legends of Philippine basketball, as I bring you the PBA legends, father and son two ball challenge. But before we meet the participants, let's call in our VIPs, PBA commissioner, Mr. Willie Marshall. Also with us today is the chairman of the PBA legends foundation, fortune cookie himself, Mr. Atoy Ko. And of course, the president and CEO of BMPI and UNTV, please welcome Mr. Public Service himself, Kuya Daniel Razon. And now, let's meet the participants. The pride of Pangasinan, Danny El Defonso. Together with son, Dave El Defonso, incoming sophomore for the NU Bulldogs. Let's see if they are to raise the roof together on this competition. Up next, let's call in Captain Marbel. Kenneth Duremdes together with son Kenji Trey Duremdes from the NU Bullpups. Last but not the least, we have a pair of Cebuano hotshots, both from the University of Cebu. Please welcome father and son Don Don and Isaiah Miguel Ontiveros. Photo ops, please. Here's the mechanics. Shooting from six locations of increasing difficulty, each team will attempt to make all six shots in numeric order in the fastest time. Six numbered shooting spots will be placed on the floor to designate each shot location. Each team must choose a specific order of shooting and follow that order throughout the event. Each shot location must be made before moving on to the next location. For shot number six or near the half court, player must make the initial attempt until the shot is made, which will stop the clock and give the team its official time. A referee will be on court to pass judgment on any violation. The team that hits all six shots in the shortest amount of time will be declared the winner. And the winning pair of today's ball game will be receiving 1,000 pesos cash and gift back from Jim's Coffee, a sound bar from Sharp, and a whopping 25,000 pesos from Front Row International. Once again, this is the PBA Legends two ball challenge made possible by Front Row International. All right, to start things off, we have Don Don Ontiveros and Isaiah Miguel. Stop 
Gesetze sollen den Jugendschutz auch im Internet garantieren. Now underway with the set one of hot shots. Again, the first to make the six shots with the shortest amount of time will win. Free throw now. He won't miss that. All right, one minute left. You see the collaboration between father and son. There you have it, near the half court now. 40 seconds remaining. Good line. seconds left. Almost, but not quite. 20 seconds left. Almost, we got 10 seconds left. Five. There you have it. Isaiah Miguel Blanco Ontiveros with the left hand. Our next pair, Danny I and Sean Day. Shaky start there. There you go. We got Bulldogs up on the hard court right now. Free throw by Lakai is good. Take from NU. One minute left. Short. Let's go, Danny I. Right on the cue. Spot number five. 45 seconds left. Good line. Made for three. No good. 30 seconds left. Come on now, Bulldogs. There you go, near half court, 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left. Five. Will they go for the buzzer beater? Short and time ran out. And finally, we have Kenneth Durandes and Kenji. Captain Marbel was from the Adamson program, but Kenji is now part of the NU Bullpups. Smooth start, free throw now for Kenji. First miss. G trade. Let's go, Cap. There you go. Strikte Gesetze sollen den Jugendschutz auch im Internet garantieren. 45 seconds left. Let's go, Kenji. You ain't named Trey for nothing. Captain Marbell with three. 
30 seconds left. There you go, near half court. You got 25 seconds to spare. Good line, we got 15 seconds left. Almost. Last five seconds, Captain, for the win. No, two seconds, and we have a winner. Congratulations, we have our winner right now, the Cebuano Hot Shots, Don Don, and of course, Isaiah Ontiveros. Congratulations. May we call back on the hardwood, PBA Commissioner, Mr. Willie Marshall, Chairman of the PBA Legends Foundation, Atoyko, and of course, Mr. Public Service, Daniel Razon. And we call in the front row Lux White Angels to award the 25,000 pesos each for our winners. Our winner will also get soundbar from Sharp to be awarded by Sharp Angels and 1,000 pesos cash with gift pack from Jim's Coffee to be awarded by Ms. Jessica Agas, brand associate of Jim's Coffee. Again, we have with us the Sharp Angels in the front row Lux White Angels. Congratulations once again to our winners. That has been the PBA Legends two ball competition. Front Row International together with the Philippine Basketball Association brings you the glorious return of the Philippine basketball's all time greats in a clash that no one will ever forget. The PBA Legends return of the rivals. Brought to you of course by Front Row International, the official health beauty and wellness partner of the PBA. Okay, okay, we are just about ready to get into the second half of this game. Our current score is 38 all, Dr. J. Yeah, it's been a very good first half, you know. Obviously, the uh, more conditioned players have been able to play hard. Ginebra had a big advantage in the rebound department earlier, but it was also negated by uh, the tough game of the uh, Pure Foods Hot Dogs team. Percentage-wise, Pure Foods had the better percentage also in the first half. Never had 13 free throws given to them, making only five, so they missed eight. That's big. You know, the ball game is tied, three or four rebounds. You can have a three or four point lead. That would have been big for the second half of play. And uh, both teams actually using as many of the players. In fact, we should be able to see that more in the third quarter until it's winning time. If the first game was any indication, it's been decided in the fourth quarter, really. Yeah, well, of course, San Miguel had to fight back against Alaska. So in the third quarter, they used their, probably their best condition and strongest players. And, you know, like Danny Dolfonso played almost the whole of the second half. And he was a very big factor. Together with Nick uh, Velasco, they provided, you know, the big uh, push for them um, in the forward lineup. Now, I don't think Marlo and EJ can play on the floor together unless they decide to play zone a lot no, and force the outside shooting of Purefoods. Okay, we're just moments away from the start of the second half. And uh, we will begin from a score of 38 apiece. Just very quickly, we'd like to remind you that Front Row International, together with the Philippine Basketball Association, has brought you this glorious return of the basketball stars and the all-time greats in a clash known as the return of the rivals. Brought to you by Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. So Commissioner Willie Marshall has now drifted over to the other side of the floor to be on the Hinebra bench. Although we tumbled the first half, it looks like Pure Foods was going to be leading, but it tumbled the end game. Ryan, start us off, please. All right, maraming salamat sa'yo. Kasama natin ngayon, the Raven Bong Ravenna. Coach, 
Paano nyo po ngayon, after retirement, paano nyo po ngayon binabalansi yung oras ninyo? Kasi tatlo po ang inyong anak na superstar po ngayon. That's Kiefer Ravenna, Thirdy, and Danieli. Uh, yeah, uh, dati first sem lang kami na sport, eh. basketball lang, UAP. Now, since my daughter is uh, playing na rin sa Ateneo, so whole year na kami nanonood ng sa gym lagi. Activity namin sa gym lang. Ano po nararamdaman nyo ngayon na grand reunion po ninyo kasama ng mga teammates and of course yung arts rival ninyong Barangay Nebra? I'm very, very overwhelmed sa mga tao. Uh, yun nga, uh, yung suporta nila hindi pa rin nawawala. And ang saya-saya na makasama na naman namin yung mga uh, old teammates and then yung mga opponents. Talagang, talagang grand reunion. So I'm very, very happy at least once in a while we gather together. So yeah, I'm very, very happy. Ano masasabi niyo po, Coach, na buo na po yung uh, PBA Legends Foundation? Of course, sa pangunguna po ni uh, Chairman Atoy ko and in partnership with UNTV and sa pangunguna rin po ni Kuya Daniel Razon. Yes, I'm very, very thankful for, you know, supporting the PBA uh, Legends Foundation, lalo-lalo na kay Sir Razon. And yung nag-organize and the people behind this, uh, kung hindi dahil sa kanila, uh, I mean, hindi na siguro na, no? but I'm very, very thankful na nagsimula kami ng ganito ulit. Hopefully, next next year or soon, makaano ulit kami ng mga ganito. Right. Coach Bong, maraming salamat and good luck po sa game. Thank you, thank you. And Seb, gusto natin po salamat sa Front Row International together with the Philippine Basketball Association brings you the glorious re return of the Philippine basketball all-time greats in a clash that no one will ever forget. The PBA Legends Return of the Rivals brought to you by Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Back to you, Seb and Dr. J. Maraming salamat, Ryan. And uh, of course, uh, the Ravenna family, they must have delightful dinners. Of course, Mosi, a former USD volleyball player, why their children. I remember this line from you a long time ago, Dr. J. Taga na tayo, magsan. We, we as parents, our dreams to see our children achieve so much more than our, our, our achievements. Yeah, that's why it's so important as parents na may joke na guide nyo. But the most important thing there is mag-aaral Yep. Nolly. Yes! Magminti siya sa unang nila. Pero hindi siya natatakot na to throw it up again. Oh, great pass. Oh, Alvin. That's money. And back to Imanio! Turn back the hands of time or keep them in the present. He still does it. It's a tough matchup for Joey Santa Maria. Marlo is just too big and too strong underneath the basket. Si Joey, well, pati yung kasama natin si Eric Reyes, sila ang tigaharang sa import muna eh, no? Well, some, the imports usually are the 6'5s. Uh -huh. Hindi naman ito, 6'9 ito. Medyo uh -huh. malakas at may gulang ito. <laughs> Ang haba eh. The pass nearly through the fingertips of the sky sky. Hook shot. No. Nolly open again. Not this time. Here comes the bullet. Lead pass. Artadi. Nice great feed to ya. Marlo is gone. Ito hindi niya tinak yun. Dati, dadak niya yun. Ganong kalibre. Lamang ang pure boost ng isa. 10-24 to go. Nasa third quarter. Santa Maria against the glass. Joey! Santa Maria! Rina has an interview or an update. Rina, go. Yes, Seb, I'm with Coach Bernard Palad right now. And I just want to ask you, Coach, uh, aside from this reunion, kayo po ba na, as a team, nagkikita-kita pa rin po ba kayo annually? Nagkikita kami once a month. Minsan napapadalas lang pag may umuwi galing stage. Lalo na si Maki Di Hoya, yan, si, si Joey. So, pag may umuwi na galing stage, nagpapunta-punta kami. Okay, para sa inyo po, anong mas maganda? Ang uh, playing or coaching? Sa so, ngayon, mas maganda na mag-coach. Nakakapagod na eh. Nakakahingal. Ngayon, paano po ang mensahe niyo para po dito sa ating PBA Legends Foundation? Uh, sana ipagpatuloy nila yung ginagawa nila maganda. At kung sakaling kailangan nila mga tulong ng mga players, so, willing kami tumulong with all our hearts. Salamat po sa inyo, Coach Ben at Palad of the Hinebra Team 7, Dr. J. Thank you very much, Rina. Si Ben is...
the coach of the National Housing Administrator Administration Builders in the UNT. You know, the last time I saw him play, magkalaban pa nga yung team ko sa kanya. He, he was in Brunei. Ah, oh, oh. He played there for a couple of years, like an import there, plus coaching. Noli Luxin has six points in this quarter, but they're leaking out. But J.J. Helterman, tama na yan. Puro kayo leak out, ha? puro kayo lay up. Ha? J.J. hoping to go to Luxin, but Arencio was open because of the hot hand of Luxin. Why not go to him? Artadi, Alvin, wide open, the captain, no. J.J. slows it down. Luxin against Patrimonio. Oh! Biglang pumutok si Luxin dito sa ano ha? The baby tie. <laughs> oh, oh. It's getting to be a little bit physical. Huh? If you saw earlier the play between Vin Season and Roger Yap on the rebound. Eh, mga lumang sugat ata. <laughs> ano, ah? Mga dating rivalry. Pero no love loss. Luxin against Patrimonio. We love that when the, the 80s and nine, in the 90s. And Luxin drills that one in. And we see our... Uh, Daniel Rason, no? together with the family. Now, Daniel played college ball and listen to the chat. Now, you know, it's a move between uh, Roger Yap and Hison. And that's going to be a foul on Hison. That's the truth for Roger Yap. Foul number 12, Ben Season. Second foul of Hison. Inebra with two team fouls, Spearfoots with four, and Yap will shoot an extra free throw. Jericho Dinera has been brought back in for Santa Maria. They're getting clobbered downstairs by uh, Hison, no? uh, by uh, Luxin. So now Jerry will go off to, uh, to Aquino, and, uh, Marlo and uh, Noli will be defended by Alvin. Oh, look at those. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Matikit talaga tumipin sa ito si Paul Arcadi. Eh, kilalang kilala ni JJ ako paano tumikit yan. Punsihal na yan, ha? Sa San Juan? Here's Halkenbrand. And break loose. There's a foul could be on Yap. Now, this is not good for pure foods because they are already in the penalty with that foul. It's going to be take two. Masyado maaga yung mga foul nila. And look at their trust in JJ. I don't know if it's going to be confirmed, but they all went down. Nobody's rebounding for them. <laughs> Sabi ni Marlo, pagod na ako up and down. Noli, pagod na ako. Shoot mo na lang yan. Yeah. Ang takkat na coaching staff ng Pure Foods, ano? Si Ramon is 6'4", no? Yeah. His head is around the same. Ramon is more than 6'4". Born, no? There's the commissioner with Sonny Jaworski. Jaworski attended, I think, two or three practices of the team. It just shows how much uh, attention he's paying. Ronnie Magsanok with Dindo. Dindo's grown a lot, though. Now, wala in quickness, no? Magsanok, three. No. Toxin just doing everything here. Scoring, rebounding, intimidating. <laughs> Here's Arancho. Bigay. Sabi niya. Toughest play. Nice pass by Arancho. Milo gets it to go. Make a stop of the foul. Tuli yung condition ni Marlo. Time condition the EJ file is the advantage that he never has. Yeah. Free throw does not find the mark. 7.40 to go. We've got a good sized Araneta crowd tonight. Magsano against Hizan. Inside we go to Jerry. Outside attempt, Artadi. Purefoot's trying to play small here. Arencia brings it up. Arencio, almost that right. Hindi niya nakuha yung banda. Naagaw naman ni JJ. Binigay, pero galing sa outside. Pasok pa rin. 
Good call, Dr. J. <laughs> you got to be careful with J.J. Helterbein when you make passes like that. You're going to pick your pocket. Seven minutes to go. Here's Ronnie. Artadi. That's a foul on Loxin, not on Marlo. Marlo blocked that thing clean. But the foul is going to be on Noli Loxin, who got him downstairs. Si Noli, in the early part of his career, he didn't have to shoot his goggles. You know, he, he was wearing glasses. Eh, ah, yes. I was oh, joking. Maybe I think maybe there's a grado of that. It's good, right? So he said, I'm wearing the goggles. Parang, you can correct me. I'm more, uh, probably wrong. The first one I yeah. saw from PBA was Gary Vargas wear something like that. Who? Gary Vargas. He was the first to wear that because yeah. I bought that in LA. Sa LA mo binili. That was during the time of Karim wearing goggles. May, and may everybody, yung, yung kay Grady? Wala. Wala. That's why he, he found it very difficult to play with that event. Oh. Gary, by the way, has, I think, uh, moved on to San Francisco. The uh, West Coast. I don't know where he is now. I haven't seen him in a long time. Most of these players, they stay in touch. I was talking with Tim Coloso through Ed Cordero. Eh. He was shoveling snow in New York. Yeah, he is in, from New York, where his son is also a good basketball player. He's on attacks. Marlu, step back. Yo, go! Oh. Oh, look at this, the towers Giant. are here. As I said, I said, because I'm going to buy in Kanawa, there are giants in there. Artadi in the land of the giants loses it completely. Arejo will set up for a three. Go! He's on. Yes! Harrison to the front row! Mapigat yung dalawang malalaki. They just control the boards. They control and dominate the center spot. And we're going to have a timeout by Pure Foods with 6.17 to go. 59-51, Hinebra. You're back with us here at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. I'm looking at Pidoa Renzo. He's playing a lot of minutes here in this third quarter. Well, he seems to be in good shape. Uh, you know, fair shape, you would say. Very experienced. And he's also a coach. So you can see he's heady, you know? Oh. The way he feeds oh. off to his teammates. All the shots that he takes. That's a nice move of Jerry. Familiar move by Codignera. Just couldn't nail it. They got twin towers there for him ever. <laughs> and that's really something that... Pure Foods is really having a hard time breaking. Alderbrand, baseline, dips it all. Outside, he saw. Mrs. Heeson enjoying herself behind us, Dr. J. And all of a sudden, that tight ball game of half time, Ilebinada Makito ng Inebra. Maxana tries to counter. Ay, ay, make it. And you have only one shot when the Twin Towers are there. <laughs> Not too many offensive rebounds for you. Yeah. Open. At this time, rebound Maxano. Lead pass. Espinosa. Good catch. The small guys are at work. I was talking to Paul Arcani after the break and I said, Condition na condition ka. Yes, sir. Thank you. Takbo ka ng takbo. Libre. Yes! Umusok na dito si Beach. Parang si Anang Kaidik kanina. Sa second half. Espinosa gets a double screen. Patrimonio fires. It's short. Rebound, Codinera. Blocked by five. Jerry's been blocked twice tonight. Here's Alvin. Tries to shake off Marlu. Nice, nice pass. pass. Oh, money. Jerry, what do you Ilang taon nilang ginawa niyan. Oh, yung sparring partner na yan. Alvin draws all the defense to him. Steal. Lead pass, Artadi. Two steps, three steps, full body length ahead. Talaga sobra si Pat ni Artadi dito sa laro na ito. Eh? Yes. Belderbrand drives hard. Fires, gets it to go! That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. 
You're too young for me. <laughs> Make all those shake and big moves of yours. I'm not gonna follow that. It's a good substitution because he did play well in the power forward position earlier, giving Albin a rest at this stage. Gagamitin niya sa fourth quarter. Elder Brown. 68-57, Hinebra. Magsano, Artadi. He trying to dance it foul, and there's a foul. Could be on EJ. Let's see that's the difference because he has that major range jump shot. But he's still agile enough to put the ball on the floor when he's being defended by the Giant. That will be the fourth team foul now called against Hinebra. Bottled up. Where is this going? Espinosa. Jerry. Yes, oh, Jerry. Mani. Mani again. Jerry. Yeah. Magandang adjustment na ginawa ng Koti dito nila. Ramon at saka ni uh, ano, another steal. Tony Boy Espinosa. Uh, good thing he had enough back spin there. Good thing he had enough back spin there. And that lead has been chopped down to seven. So we have a fight here. Wow, Gayoso back in the game. Then the pains and he came Marlo. Nako, makamalalaki ng pasad. Wala ang bola sa ilalim. Ginebra will keep it with 4.5 seconds left on their shot clock. Si Marlo pa yung ngayon na partner. Oh, nga. Look, Sim played well in this third quarter. He's on trying to get the ball into play. Helter Brand free for a three. Not this time. Follow up, no, but there's going to be free throws. And he's on will. Vince will go to the free throw line. He's on catching fire here. He has 11 points. We've got a timeout. Back in a moment. Down to the last two minutes and 58.5 seconds of this third quarter. We have uh, your second game here tonight on UNTV. The turn of the rounds. He sons first free throw drops in. He has had a big third quarter also. 12 points in the ball game. Nine of them in this quarter. Ilan ang tres? Taklo, no? Two. Ah, uh, three. Yeah, one in the first half and two here in the third quarter. A little bit long. You could see that when you release. Here's Yap, gliding towards the right side, distracted by Hison. Here's the pitch, bad pass by Pal. The jumper, yes. Good read there by Tony Boy Espinosa on the outlet pass. Turnovers are the thing that's allowing Pure Foods to stay in the ball game. Turnovers by Hinebra, and then they are able to convert on the fast break. Gusto ko maglaro si Espinosa, na swapi. Porcento, here is another turnover. There's Espinosa, three on one. Artadi, Uyak, the ball is lost. Tumasa pa yun eh. Did not give up. He's on three for a three. That hurts. You have a three on one, that's a layup. And they hit you with a three-point shot on the other side because of the turnover. Bins has exploded here in this point. Silang dalawa ni Luxin ang nagwala rito sa third quarter. Two minutes. Jerry. Ah, not this time, and he's up, picks up the rebound. One minute and 52 left in the third. Vile says, let me try. Oh, he's a good shooter. You can see, nandun yung tira, eh, no? Direction, eh? Oh. Nice decision. Tamayo, drag them in. One minute and 32, DJ Vile. Noy Kilingen is our referee. We are together with Noy Guevara and Peter Balao. Veteran referees of the PBA, just like it was in the first game. Marlo Aquino for EJ File. Marlo Aquino will give EJ File a rest 
Artadi will sit down. Ed Cordero is assistant coach pulling out Artadi and uh, Glenn Capacho is in. But that's the big advantage that he never had in the, th in the third quarter. They were able to use Marlo and uh, EJ File. Una si Marlo, tapos ang sabay si EJ File for a while, and they just controlled everything. Tapos pinay nga si Marlo, ngay babalik mo ulit, di ba? <laughs> You're able to use your big players with for a lot of minutes by preserving them. Most of the players, as we watch this attack by Elton Brown, is blocked. They're just happy to be here. They're not really concerned that much about the playing time. They know what it takes here. Here's Luxin. Nobody fools around with Luxin when he has no, those no, elbows no. out. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Don't even think about it. He's on. Not this time. Luxin bangs it. And it's going to be a foul on Capacho holding down Noli <laughs> Luxin. That's why he couldn't jump. And that's going to be free throw shots here for Noli Luxin. Mga lumang style na. Hindi niya talaga matatalo sa talo na niya sa ilalim eh. So hinawakan na lang niya para hindi makatalo. I'll send you to the free throw line. I'll take my chances there. Sharp, but in. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Ayun yung ipit. And now, also the other, on the other side, si Jerry naman na pahinga. He played well here in the third quarter. Si Alvin nakapagpahinga. So Alvin is now playing. This is where they miss Ray Evangelista. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh, could have helped. He raised about a legitimate 6-4. Saka yung pagka-slasher and versatility. And he can score. He's also yeah. a scorer. No? Got good jump shot. Good post play. Here's Yap. Outside to Glenn Capacho. Hit one earlier. This one long. Rebound looks in. 40 seconds to play. Galloso. Good by Ben Sky. Oh! What a rebound! Oh. Okay. He's in good shape. Foul number 16, Alvin That's the third personal foul of Alvin. I mean, he sky did that offensive rebound. Sabay pagbaba, lumim ng kote. But he knew it was a duty foul by Alvin. No intention to hurt it. There was no real tough foul there. It was just a good, honest foul. The Jaworski clan on your screen. You can hear, actually, Sonny Jaworski's voice. Pins, shoot it, make sure. Masunurin yan. Masunurin yan. Masunurin kay Patricia yan. Oh, dapat, dapat, dapat. But the legend really loves Pins. Just, and Dudut and Pins were best friends in Ateneo. Yep. Tony Boy, the passion. There's a pop out, the drop. Shot clock down to six seconds. Nice drag. That will not work. Rebound both for somebody holding on to looks in. Patrimonio looking inside. That ball goes nowhere. Will there be time for a decent attempt? He's on attack. Beans is tired. And I think he might be feeling a little bit yung kanyang craps or major yung kanyang heel. That's a foul there in the act of shooting. And Roger Yap will go to the free throw line for three shots. And it's still Ginebra, though, leading, going into the fourth. What an explosion by Vince Cesar. Yeah, you know, Pisani Noli looks in it. It cannot push the pinch with second half. Like a house on fire, as they say. Roger trying to make two free throws of the three given him, and they've cut down the lead. I am so happy. And we'll have the final quarter of the return to the, of the rivals. Your foods against Ginebra here on UNTV just after this. Big 
We would like to thank all of you who are following the game on UNTV as well as on Twitter. Bagay na bagay daw tayong dalawa dito sa game na to, Dr. J. Sabi ng mga friends natin. Well, it's an honor, it's a pleasure to be invited to do this game. And this is still malayo pa. Pure food showed that it can rally in that third quarter stretch, huh? Yeah, they did. They just had a lot of problems with the good shooting of Beans plus uh, Nollies. And then the dominance of the big man. Capacio open. And Ginebra really doing a job on the rebounding department. Bal the beat, by the way. Oh, oh, matagal hindi nakalaro si Bal. Pinasa kay Marlo, two points. Paano naman makakalaro? Ang ganda na laro ni Elton Brown, ang ganda na laro ni Vince. Paano ka makakalaro? Pero ngayon, talaga nakita ko na humingal na si Vince doon. Saka medyo nag-lip. Uy, ganda ng tira. Siyak. Sabi ni Elton Brown, magkairat. Magkairat tayo. Kanina pa sila nag-uusap because Heltebrand feels that Roger is playing a little bit too physical. Unlike the others who are playing physical with each other, but they they have, they have laugh it off. Sila nagiging seryoso na eh because Roger is using his power against him. No? And nasasaktan na si JJ. You know, I can see that in the game. No? Yeah. That's why Bal tries to get in between them and says, it's just a game, partner. Only trying to back steal. into Alvin, who locks it off. Here's the drive. And Roger then, really has something, Roger! wants to prove something. Yeah, you can sense it. Remember, uh, you know, nandun pa sila James and everything. He was still with them, no, sila Simon. But he has the one that's already left. 20 points. Oh. And what a shot. Marlos played well. Yeah, he's what you call height is might. <laughs> Capasio looking inside. Here's he baseline drive, kicks it outside to the captain. Too strong. Lead pass. Oh, what a move by Helderbrand. Gets it all. Gets his own miss. And that's of course the situation. Gayosa says, I'll try. Babano Arco. Marlo is also tired right now, basically. Deep play. Ah, that will work. And here comes Helter Brown taking it away from Capasso. Baldevin wide open. Too good. You know, you can't leave him open. Got double figures now. Here comes Baldevin. Slowing it down. They're in the lead by 12. They also held their brand, waiting for Marlu. Timed out to 9.34. Open. JJ, no. Yee and Loxin getting entangled there. That's good that referee Peter Balo came into the picture. There is no need. It's just an exhibition game. <laughs> he is talking. He's continuing to jaw. Looks in. Now it's the other way around. He never already has three team fouls. What happened to team foul data on pure food? So. so it's a chance for them to come back. Oops. Foul of Solace. Mabigat ang foul yun. Masakit. Ayan, naramdam mo ang pangani. Pero apat na ating yung foul niya. Si Bennett, hindi takot magbigay ng foul yun. Wala naman takot. Diyan sa naglalaro na yan. Lahat siya pwede. Nice move. Just dominating. As the shooting guard. He's dominating. He had that tendency when he was in pure foods. He'll just take over the game. Yeah. They pass a ball intended for Marlu. And that was uh, stolen by Roger, and that will be the loose ball foul. Yeah. So that will be the 15 foul. Penalty there. Very good chance for Pure Foods to get back if they get to the free throw line. They can use it. No. That's not the shot you want. Yiba. Yi being given a foul in. Yeah. 
Fourth foul and ye. First team foul from your boots. Now they bring it up. Don't forget, Front Row International is presenting to you this glorious return of the PBA's all-time greats. This game brought to you by Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. There's a pass. Spin. Marlu in the way. There's a foul on Marlu Aquino. And he regularly admits it. Two free throws coming up for you. Valdavid slow in picking himself up. Tinutulong ang panga ni Alvin, but I'm just time as you, Spartan. Maluwag, Cap. Malaki rin ito si Yee. He's a legitimate 6'3 half, close to 6'4 type of player. He's grown a little bit. But he always had the body to oh, bang. Oh. So he played the power forward position. Banger din yun eh. No. Banger yan. One of those UST guys. Uh -huh. Marami sila dito. Uh -huh. uh, Paul is there also. Bennett. Uh, they, have, they have a lot. Oh, nice go! Oh! Bennett Wallet get break three from Dolly. Looks in good cut by Pallet. No, but Trimonja brushed away. <laughs> Time down to less than eight minutes. Looks in, looking inside. Oh. They're trying to go to Marlow. They can't get it to him. Lead pass. Artadi has scored on leak out. Starting it again, but can't get this one. Oh. Marlu, Ballard, spotting hard on the iron. Lead is 13. Patrimonio, wow, most likely by Ballard. Round number 18, Bennett, Timeout for Pure Foods. Pure Foods using a timeout at the 721 mark. Anak, you know I love you. You know I love you. You know naman, I, I love you, you di ba, anak? Sabihin ko man in three ways, I only mean one thing. I only want the best. Alvin Patrimonio missing two free throws. Here's Hison. Over to Baldovid. The lean in shot. Yes! These guards of Inebra are really doing a lot of damage. Hison, you know, Baldovid here. And then their big men have been really consistent. Nice way. Oh, Tomama Zelale, Patrimonio cleans it up. Making yourself available. This is under seven minutes with a 13 point lead, but Inebra is in the penalty. No? And that would be bright for Pufu to try to keep on going to the free throw line yes, like, by attacking on the inside. Libre. He's on open at this time. Luma big na. Great pass by Marlo, reading uh, where his teammates is going, and Rogers going to attack. Espinosa, Solis. And that foul by Eason will send Roger up to the free throw line. Uh, Magsanok is going to come back in. Ronnie Magsanok for Al Solis. Al Solis will sit down. Hindi nakatira si Al. Yeah. Codiniero will also try to come back here. But here come free throws. Roger didn't even know that the other team was in penalty, so he was willing to take, was going to take the ball on the side. Ah, lalabas ni sana. 
Well, you can see what kind of shape he's in. He's been up and down the floor. Malakas. Tries to snap it away from Marlo Kino Camp. Here's Salterbrand. Locks in in the post. Patrimonio trying to anticipate his next move. Digs in deep. Looks in and Patrimonio at it again. Top angle for Looks in. Had nowhere to go. Maxano, Espinosa lets it fly. No, look at the rise of Yap. You can see visibly. Marlo had to even come down in that play. Eh? Ten point game. The biggest lead was how many? 13. Tibre. Ayona. It'll go the other way. Pierfoot's trying to mount the comeback. 5 and 20 to go to do that. Espinosa looking inside. Espinosa thought about letting it fly. Couldn't. Yap is the point of attack. Lost. Foul number five, Ronnie Maxano. It's a good foul because that would have been, I mean, that's the one would have been gone if the referees had uh, made that a let go situation. Ronnie always tells me players have to know game, time, yeah, yeah, situation. penalty situation, um, things like that. Your personal foul if you're in trouble. Especially the point guards, though. If point guards say, no. Espinosa tracks it down. There's Yap. Then Albi is really trying to run with Roger. Three on three basketball. Dinakita si Muxano. Alter Brand. Slows it down. Ten point in Everly. Looks in. Fakes. Fires. Yes. Alter Brand being a good point guard made the right decision. Two big men going down the middle for him. He found one of them. You know, and then no palarito kanina si Greg Slaughter. I was kidding. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. There we go. Greg, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, your turn. <laughs> Still got a long way to go. Oh. Ronnie, wala pa rin. You can't buy a basket today. Normally, and trust. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pulikat ba yan? That's the second injury. Dahil na injured na ano? Hindi naman. Na injured na si Artati kanina. We've got a timeout. Dr. J and I in the Return of the Rivals will go back and return wherever you are. In behalf of the uh, Professional Legends uh, Foundation, that uh, is the aggregation of the former pro players, they'd like to thank you for your support of the Return of the Rivals. Uh, this your contribution. All of you, just by watching, will go a long, long way and reach in. Uh, Helping their reach outreach projects. In the meantime, back to back in one. Wow, help her back. You know, Jaworski has made some substitutions here, bringing very tough players, Benny Cheng and Harencio. You know, also fresh players off the bench. Bundy Ben Sarena, you know. Espinosa off the line. Down on the ground, Yap can't find it. Cheng, Helterbrand, he's on. Drop the egg. Back to he's on. Arrancho says wisely. And that's why, you know, you gotta find guys to make good decisions. Arrancho will shoot. He's on. And they have time to kill here. But Vin says, no, 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 let's play the eight numbers here. Lobo. Roger Yaps off to the races again. Simple basketball. Marlu. Hook. Yes. Still got that money shot of his. 
Alam mo, matagal mo rin sinabi sa akin, every big man should have that shot. Uh, sky hook. Yeah. Hook. Some kind of hook shot. Jump hook or whatever. Yeah. Oh, close range. Jerry. Jerry fucking yeah! Despite not being in a good 100% shape, Jerry has played very decent in yeah, this sport. I agree. He still has got the touch, you know. Swap it. Kulang na lang sa kanya yung kanyang uh, stamina. Plus yung kanyang tinatawag natin yung uh, ability to face up and make jump shots, eh, which he usually was very good at. He made some back shots of the passes of Alvin to him. Magsanak was organizing the offense. They go to Yap. We're into the last two minutes. Yap can find the open Espinosa. Jerry again open. He can flip it from there, but Marlo was already Good on reaction by Marlo. Yeah. Nice screen there by Lee for against Vince. Up, oh, Alci Benny. Alci Benny from behind. Bagay kay Benny, salt and pepper. I'm glad this guy told me that a nice business Good, huh? overseas. Uh, here, you know. Uh, okay, okay, okay. My players who came from Cebu, um, Joey Loisan came from Australia, he happened to be in town. Well, Naron, who started for the team for Purefus, has just come back. He, you know, he hasn't played since starting five. And Totoy Marquez, who hit a three-point shot in the second quarter, again seeing action. Ten-point lead. Ten-point lead, a minute 44 na lang ito. It's going to be a hard choice for who's going to be the best player if he never is really going to win. I'm still trying to think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elter Brand. Pido. Ah, yeah. He's on. Tapping into the wrong party. Espinosa zips it over to Magsano. Ronnie's got to throw up another one of those three point shots at this stage. You should, should just take it. He's just enjoying himself. And Hinebra will look like it's going to win this ball game. Huh? Yeah, they came back from here in the... And we're just 13.2 seconds away from the Hinebra win, but a very successful project, Dr. J. Very, very respectable. <laughs> and the players bring it to a close. Dr. J, thank you for joining us here at uh, the UNTV coverage. Uh, a pleasure you completed tonight's coverage. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased, especially when you told me the players asked for that. Uh, these guys, you know, I've been with them for a long time, whether with them or working with them, against them, for <laughs> them, or whatever, you know. And but I love them all. Okay, Dr. J, I look forward to our games in the next couple of days. We're in a break right now, but... In behalf of the players, thank you for joining us. We'll send it in a short. Sino ang natpili natin best players, Dr. J? It was really hard. So we took the two H's. They were... H2O. Yeah, H2O. 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 And Helter, but Okay. Basically, both of them really played well. Okay. In just a short while, we're going to introduce 
And let's send it to Ryan and the other guys. All right, thank you so much, Sev and Dr. J. It's an honor again na makatrabaho po kayo. And congratulations sa Parangay, Ginebra, for winning against Tender Juicy of Pew Foods. And right now, Ryan, we have two best players, front row best players of this ball game. Let me start off with JJ Helterbrad. Of course, I want to interview him. So how important is this ball game for you um, when you won this ball game? Um, I mean, <laughs> um, it means a lot to me because I, I didn't want to let my Kuyas down. Uh, they've been really great. Um, it was also a great honor to play with uh, the best ever to do it. Also to play against uh, the best Pure Foods players. Um, to come out here, and, uh, I, I miss playing. I miss playing in front of all you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. And uh, I thank you so much for supporting the Hinebra team as well as the Pure Foods team and the PBA. We love you guys, we do this for you guys. Thank you so much. All right, congratulations to, both, to, to the whole team. Congratulations, Vince. What can you say about the noble cause for the PBA Legends Foundation? Because this is a different game now. Well, I wanna give all honor and glory to God Almighty for allowing us to have this, uh, this game. Uh, all I can say is, firstly, ouch, this was a lot of pain today, but uh, we had a lot of fun, and uh, this is just, you know, like coming home, you know. Hinebra for me is like family. I don't care where I go. It's been 21 years since I suited up for Hinebra, and just to wear this uniform again is really a special honor, and it definitely wouldn't have happened unless Coach Jaworski gave us a call and said, you guys are going to play. So as far as the foundation goes, I think it's a very worthy cause. I, I don't know exactly all the details, but I'm happy to support and I'm, and I'm hoping that uh, it'll all go to the people who need it most, especially the old vets. Mohan sinusunod mo lang daw kanina si Coach Zawerki, sabi ni Sev, making those three points. And of course, hindi mawawala sa atin si Coach Robert Zawerski kasi dun sa isang video na nakita namin habang kayo nagpa-practice, tutuloy ba kayo sa Hong Kong dahil nanalo ang Hinebra King? Tuloy na tuloy. Ano yung message po para po sa lahat ng fans na nandito ng Ginebra team? Well, salamat po sa lahat ng sumuporta. Ako din po ay naimbitihan dito para subukang makatulong kahit pa paano dun sa association na tinutulak ng ating mga kasama para sa napakagandang direksyon. Yung pagtulong po dun sa mga nasasaktan, may sakit at medyo nahihirapan din ang mga manlalaro. Mabuhay po kayong lahat at sa PBA. Ating Commissioner, salamat po at sinuportahan niyo ito. At of course, uh, sa ating uh, brother Daniel Rason, uh, salamat po. Mabuhay po kayo. And of course, for our front row best player of the game, again, congratulations po. Our uh, PBA Legends front row best player of the game will get 25,000 pesos. 25,000 pesos from Front Row International. He will also get a Sharp Aquas 45 4K UHDR Android TV from Sharp. And to award this uh, best players, may we call on the PBA Legends Foundation Chairman, Mr. Atoy Ko from Sharp, uh, Mr. Amor Golifardo Advertising, and PR Manager, Mr. Ed Dakanay, the Product Supervisor from Front Row International, Front Row Lux White Girls. And of course, we also have the PBA Commissioner, with Mr. Willie Marshall and Kuya Daniel Rason in front to award our front row best players of the game. Again, congratulations for Barangay, Hinebra. Congratulations once again to our best players, front row best players of this game. We have JJ Helderbrand and Vince Hison. Let's give them a round of applause. And again, Rina for the winning team award. For the winning team award.
war, they will be awarded with 100,000 pesos. And this goes to the Hinebra team. Barangay Hinebra fans, wala ba kayong mga kamay? Congratulations once again to Barangay Hinebra and sa ating best player of the game, JJ the Fast Celtic Brand and Vince the Prince. He's on. All right, Rex. All right, there you have it. What a night of nostalgia and classic basketball. From the players to the Barker to the anchors, of course, major shout outs to Seb Sarmenta and Dr. J. Andy Howe. Maraming salamat. And ang nakakatuwa pa, pati yung mga ball boys and crew ng team, sila sila pa rin yung nagsama sama tonight. And of course, thank you for joining us once again. Dito lang po yan sa PBA Legends Return of uh, the Rivas. Muli po ako po si Rina Villamore, camera alongside with Rex Trinidad and Ryan Ramos. Thank you so much again to all our basketball fans who came for tonight. And makita-hita po muli tayo sa mga susunod pang event natin. And before we let them go, maraming salama to our sponsors, our co-presenter, Front Row International, the official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. We got Team Rebel Sports, the official event outfitter for the PBA Legends game. We got Jim's Coffee and Novotel Manila Araneta Center. Muli, magpapasalamat din tayo, of course, sa mga teams na nasaksihan natin ngayon ng our title days, Alaska, San Miguel, Ginebra, and of course, Pure, Pure Foods. Foods. Yeah, major At ang anila, baka may part 2. Oh, but part 2 pa. <laughs> and part 3 and part 4 and on and on and on. Maraming salamat po to all the basketball fans. Have a sweet, sweet evening. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank See you again. You.